What's up everybody? So I was watching the ending of the Duke versus Joke game here uh, from the group stages of the Madden Classic tournament. And if you guys don't know, uh, Joke ends up pulling this game out, but Duke was so close to winning this game, I just kind of wanted to touch on a couple of times where he could have sealed it or at least put himself in a position uh, to go up and force Joke to basically answer either by kicking a field goal uh, to send it to overtime most likely or joke would have had to you know have his own money drive to score a touchdown and probably win the game but he was just so close two obviously great players joke and duke probably two of the most consistent players in terms of actually getting out to the live events in california for ea so definitely i mean two fantastic players not taking any anything away from duke i think actually most of it had to do with how joke was switching up his defenses and kind of keeping duke off guard but Real quick shout out, I'm watching this game footage on Compton187's channel, it's a great channel, he basically uploads all of the major EA Madden tournament games uh, in a pretty timely manner, he's uploading all of the Madden Classic games, he'll do some of the challengers as well, um, so if you ever want to look at YouTube VODs of the Madden channels, you don't or the Madden tournaments and you don't feel like going back through Twitch to try and, you know, find past broadcast or whatever definitely subscribe to compton 187 best channel by far in terms of catching vods of competitive madden games on youtube but so getting into this game um so duke running the gun bunch they were both running a lot of gun bunch uh, pretty much mirrored on offense uh, but right here so third and three and joke had been doing something pretty interesting on the left side he was mixing up his coverages on julio and basically a lot of times what he would do, he would run this cover 2 shell, which is pretty popular out of nickel 335. A lot of people run that Tampa 2. And what he would do, uh, you know, probably the majority of the time, I'd say, uh, was drop this defender right here back into a cloud flat. And then he would bracket Julio, either with, say, like this man or maybe even this man, as like a man-to-man -man defender. So he'd have inside coverage, basically kind of like a pseudo cross man coming from the middle of the field along with a bracketed cloud flat to really take away Julio. And so I think what happens on this play is that Joke really wasn't expecting Julio to get open at all. And so I think maybe he didn't even have him marked down as a read in his mind, just a distraction. But if you go ahead and uh, roll the footage right here, you're going to end up seeing so uh, at the snap of the ball here in a second. So the motion out to Taylor Gabriel, snap of the ball. A joke goes ahead, sends six, and actually what ends up happening, what it looks like happens, is joke sends six, and he actually gets out of his Tampa two, and it looks like he rolls into some type of cloud cover three shell, right? So uh, this was his safety right here. So his safety rolled to the middle of the field. That was his uh, free safety, so his strong safety rolled to this side of the field. So it's basically a middle third and a deep third on the right side, and then what would normally happen is this cornerback who started down here, this guy right here, would go back into a deep third on the left to make that cover three cloud type of look. But what uh, what Joke rather ended up doing uh, was he manned up the deep third onto Julio and had this guy leaking out as a linebacker into whatever cloud flat, um, curl flat, whatever that might be. So uh, essentially, instead of bracketing Julio now, uh, you have a man-to-man -man defender and a guy who's basically going to cover underneath. But in this case, what happens is Julio's running a C route. So Julio's going to run this C route, and it's a pretty deep C route. So he's going to get behind that cloud flat defender. Um, Duke actually ends up, I understand this is you know late in the game, money drive, there's a lot of pressure. And uh, he actually ends up scrambling here, and I think he picks up a few yards, might even get the first down. Uh, but... He did have reads open, in my opinion, on this play, and he actually ends up having a touchdown here to Julio if he would have seen it. As you see on the break, the man-to-man -man defender got beat off the press, and he never recovered. Uh, this guy out here ends up biting down, so it actually might have been a hard flat, seeing how aggressively he's clamping down. And so you have a man-to-man -man defender and a hard flat, but, uh, you know, a lot of the times, especially with a guy like Julio over 91 route running, that C route's going to get open against the man-to-man -man defender, especially if he beats the press off the line of scrimmage, which will happen more times than not with Julio. And then they have no zone back there, whether it's a cloud flat to kind of muddy up the throw or at least a deep third or a deep half to, you know, make the tackle after he catches it. 
there's no you know safety blanket behind Julio and if he would have just basically done an up pass lead up the field lob it bullet it I think either one probably would have worked here he probably would have walked in for a touchdown but instead he ends up going uh, joke did a good job using over the middle there and so Duke actually ends up taking off going to the right and picking up the first down so he picks up five so he got the first down yes kept the drive alive on crucial third down but I feel like that was a missed opportunity for a touchdown and then uh, another one right here a second play so third and ten once again 36 seconds he's got two timeouts left so plenty of time he's at the 27 yard line got to score a touchdown now the first thing if you've been playing Madden 18 online uh, you have to know if your opponent is a lot of time it happens with base line press it looks like joke right here he either just normal pressed or if he did base line press uh, obviously a lot of high level players know if you base line and press a lot of the times uh, this defender right here will not get all the way outside he'll be like right there so you have to manually move him out right here it looks like he might have just actually aligned correctly uh, which is rare usually you're gonna have to move them out obviously it depends kind of what formation the offense is in along with where the ball's at on the hashes maybe because of the fact that the Duke's kind of in the middle of the hashes the defender aligns more correctly than normal but that is a case you'll see a lot of the times but another thing in Madden 18 is anytime you press a lot of times people are in cover two because of the fact that if you're not in cover two and you're pressing and you're in say like cover three or cover four these deep zones on the outside they don't bail as soon as the ball is snapped they don't bail out and run straight back so that they don't get torched off the line of scrimmage what they'll do a lot of times is they'll start off the play backpedaling for the first second or two and then they'll turn their back and run by that time if you have a speedy receiver such as Julio Jones out there um, I mean he's gonna have you know two or three yards on the defender and there's no recovering at that point so your offensive life will become a lot easier if when you're playing and your opponent presses your first read should always be if you have an outside receiver so in this case Julio is really the only receiver that qualifies for this unless he motions out Taylor Gabriel but if you have an outside receiver on a streak or a fade or anything downfield basically and your opponents pressing he should be as soon as you snap the ball you should peek at him and see okay is it like did my receiver burn him does he have a step or two can I just lob this and get a one play touchdown your life will become a lot easier on offense um, it forces people to play less aggressively since they can't press every single down uh, they have to kind of you know if they want to baseline press they have to manually move the guy back which can mess with their adjustments you can quick snap them opens up a lot of different options for you on offense but that should be your first read always so right here what you're gonna see and do, you'll actually see jokes kind of mix up on defense but let's see whenever he snaps the ball making a lot of adjustments here he might motion out Gabriel motion some in gonna motion him all the way over snap the ball but as you see right here snap of the ball Matt Ryan's got it so Duke could lob this right now Duke could lob this to Julio and you see what happens joke actually goes into a cover three shell and he actually has the two outside thirds right here going deep and it looks like the safety he, he got really aggressive that doesn't look like a middle third I think he either manned him up or did something but I want to draw attention to the outside deep thirds right here on the left side you see how he's flat-footed and looking at the quarterback he's not turned and running with Julio Julio's running sprinting downfield he's probably already a yard past him so this defender still has to turn accelerate and try and keep up with Julio that's never gonna happen and it doesn't just happen with Julio any fast receiver any moderately fast receiver out there will probably end up torching a cornerback in this scenario every single time so a Duke all he had to do right here just lob it to X and it's a one play touchdown as you see right there he's just now turning I mean it's it's just an easy easy read now once again Duke or joke rather was doing a great job of mixing up his coverages um, Duke probably didn't expect you know a cover three shell on third and ten from a baseline press look he was probably expecting Tampa too so once again he might not have even thought to read Julio I think it more goes to show how advanced jokes adjustments were and how good of a job he was doing in mixing up his defenses rather than Duke just not making the right read um, I think jokes defensive adjustments were really good this game so um, obviously he ends up pulling out the game right here I'm not sure if what the result of this play is so he scrambles again so Duke was doing that a lot and I don't know he actually got the first down there picked up 13 
Joke was kind of salty, he didn't get a fumble, but Duke was scrambling a lot, so I don't know if he was nervous, he didn't want to make a mistake, uh, he was very timid in making his reads on that final drive, but he marched down the field, gave himself a chance to win, couldn't pull it out unfortunately for him, and Joke ended up moving on to the bracket stage, but I just thought that was, those were two interesting plays, and it kind of showed uh, two times where Duke did have the chance to take advantage and pull out this game, or at least put it to, in a situation where Joke then had to go on offense and drive down the field on Duke's defense. And, uh, you know, it's a game of inches. It's a game of, you know, one play here, one play there. And that's pretty much what decides these games and, you know, the top level competitive Madden when everybody's so good, players are so close in skill level, just plays like these uh, that definitely decide the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. And until next time, guys, take it easy.